hey, 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 guess what, guys? I hate Mondays. Hey, Michael B. How are you, man? Welcome to the show. I'm good, man. Check your mic settings. <laughs> oh, do I not sound good? Hang on. Let me go back. Well, you always sound good, but you could sound better. Oh, yep. I got the wrong mic turned on. Thanks so much. Uh, that should be better now, right? That should be oh, way that's, better. That's yeah. lovely. Oh, hold my on. God. That's like some Barry White stuff. All right. Hold on. Let me turn the, let me turn the game down a little bit. I hate Monday's intro. As you guys know, if you guys watch my channel or that countdown clock, um, a lot of my old logos and assets are on there, and obviously we're changing things. Take a look at the top right corner of your screen. One of our uh, channel uh, members, Vic, he surprised me. He sent me an email. He said, hey, I hand drew this, and it's uh, that P-Dubs Arcade Loft logo you see in the top right, and I absolutely love it. And I told him, I said, you know what, dude, I think I might adopt this as my new channel logo switch from green to orange, change up the colors a little bit and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm kind of excited. It's always fun, Michael B, when you, um, whatchamacallit, when you change out uh, your channel stuff, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. the, I mean, I've only been doing this a year and a half. I've gone through like five logos, five, like five banners. You've been doing this a lot longer. How often have you done that? Whew, uh, I think I've changed out my logo... Three times, uh, three times over the past eight nine years. So uh, I had a friend do the Captain in the Game Master logo, redo it for Michael B the Game Genie. That was the first change, mm -hmm. and then the last time was my friend John, who's a graphic artist, did the mm -hmm. new logo that has like the arcade stick and the He Man like Michael B. Yeah, I like the new one. I like the it guys. A lot. Yeah, me too. Me too. Hand drawn, yeah. not done on a computer. I'm like I'm, um, I'm like the just... worst co-host or guest tonight because I, I'm going to tell you there's something else going on with your mic now. Now you sound like Zordon from Power Rangers. What are you talking about? Really? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like it's it's like loud and deep and then slow too somehow. All right, here. Is that better? It's still there. It's the Can weirdest you... thing in the world. Guys, does the audio does the audio sound funny? <laughs> Is it really? You're slow. It sounds slow. I don't know what a. All right, hang on one minute, Mike. Why don't you tell people about your day? I'll be right back. Yeah, absolutely. So I've completely taken over P Dub's channel here now. At this point, <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Yeah, my day's been interesting. I uh, did a podcast earlier, uh, recorded a podcast that'll be out Friday. If you guys know who Drunk Friend is, uh, that's Sness Drunk and uh, Ness Friend. They've got a podcast, so I recorded that earlier tonight. Just did the Rexer show. We lost. I'm heartbroken. Uh, I really wish that we could have moved on in the Tournament of Champions, but Ristalja had the right answer, and I messed it up for him, and I feel like a bag of poop. So I'm very sorry about that. And now I'm jumping in with P-Dubs because I like talking to everybody here. And let's see if he's back. Okay. How do I sound now? Perfect. There it is. Brilliant. Uh, let's hope nothing else goes wrong. Let's hope nothing else goes wrong. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Are you sure? It's fine. I'll keep talking yeah. for a second. All right. Cool. We fixed it. We fi I had to log off, log back in to get it to fix. All right. There's a lot of stuff I want to talk about, Michael B. And I'm actually really glad you joined me because as you know, um, I get scattered, and uh, I, I always need your help, my friend. So for starters today, I, I wanted to talk real quick about the well-played uh, pinball machine. We're gonna, Guys, we have a whole mess of stuff we're going to talk about here. we got a well-rounded little um, chill and chat for you guys. Uh, but I want to talk to you about the well-played pinball machine. So um, after uh, At Games sent me, Michael B., the um, beta firmware with all the 105 Zakaria games, um, whatchamacallit, I went ahead and I uh, got that running on the Legends Pinball Machine. And I talked to my wife, Melissa. As you guys know, if you guys follow the channel, my wife, Melissa, really, really likes the well-played uh, pinball machine. Like, she really, really does. And and it, she liked the artwork, but more importantly, she really liked the Zakaria games. And unfortunately... Um, 
you know, she had never played them before until she played them on that machine, but she just, she liked the games. She liked how easy and simple they were. My wife also loves real pinball. You know what I mean? Like, um, we just went to the, um, electric bat arcade on our wedding anniversary over the weekend. Michael B. We went to the electric bat arcade here in Arizona and they have about, I don't know, 40 real pinball machines. And we were in there for hours and she scored like 280 million on Batman 66. Like my wife loves real pinball. She does. She doesn't really like all these video game pinballs, but she had never played Zachariah games and we get well played and she really liked the games and told me I had to keep it. Well, um, after I got those games on the Legends Pinball, Michael B., and showed it to her, and then I'm like, look, we got the back glass now. We got the, They're on a 32-inch display. They look better. They perform better, 60 frames per second, 1080p. Uh, although they are 1080p, 60 frames per second, it's a 24-inch monitor, so it doesn't look as good as it does on the Legends, right? And, and she said, you know what? This is kind of redundant now. We don't really need this well-played pinball machine, right? So guess what happened? We uh, we sold it. So I, I I went in the well-played fan page. I went in the well pa- well-played well fan page, and I said, hey, does anyone in Arizona want to buy it? And a guy responded er, immediately, and he came today, and he picked it up, and I sold it to him, and he was really excited about it. And he was also a channel subscriber, and I gave him four P-Dub stickers as part of the deal as well. So he got... He got his stickers, guys, which speaking of which, guys, your envelopes are right here and I bought stamps today. So I'm going to put them in the Alco email tomorrow. You guys will get your stickers um, this weekend for those waiting for stickers. Now, I'm excited because it's one less machine in my house. I have room for another one, right? Mm -hmm. But Michael B, do you think I made a bad choice? Uh, I, I got really worried because I got this thing in December. Here it is, March their online store still hasn't gone live and they had promised you could buy like pretty much the entire Zakaria game packs and you, you can't as of today, right? Their website is still just a splash page. The online store is a separate website. It's arcadeproduct.com, and you can't buy any games yet. And also they're not shipping. Like no one has their machines yet except for like 10 people, right? Do you think that that product is is just done? Like, Michael B., what are your thoughts on this? So I get accused of being overly positive. And uh, for those people who think that I'm the super positive guy, well, you're mostly right. But if you remember the first episode we did about Well Played, where P-Dub mm-hmm. showed us his Well Played machine, we got a lot of negative things to say about this. I mean, for God's sakes, there's no nudge. There's a forward nudge. That's it. So, yep. I mean, your wife, when she played on the At Games Legends pinball, at least she can nudge. The next thing is you get all 105 games. All the Zachariah games are going to be on your Legends pinball. So, I mean, you don't have to buy anything extra like you do with the well-played. The other thing is the thing looks atrocious. I mean, you can say the same thing that, oh, my God, all the Farsight games, the Gottlieb games are on the Legends mm-hmm. pinball. But at least the Toy Shock plays well, and it actually looks like a real pinball table. The, the well-played doesn't even do that. Uh, I mean, I... I I, I'm not a big fan of the well played. I thought I explained their business model as the carnival model. They sell the guys like P dubs and then they leave town. They've got their money, they're <laughs> out of there. And this is kind of what we're seeing now. It's the one thing where I'm looking at it and I'm like, I don't get it. Yep. So um so what I did is and keep in mind, guys, and the, I and please guys don't take this the wrong way, is financially I do very, very well. Very, very well. I'm, i I do very well in my career. And uh, we have a big, beautiful home. I can afford all these toys. And also, you know, and like YouTube, Michael B., we might make, what, 500 bucks in revenue a month off YouTube, which I don't even, not me. <laughs> which, which, which I don't even, which I don't even need, right, guys? And, I, and I'm being sincere. I'm not trying to be braggadocious or anything. So when it comes to getting rid of this stuff, I'd rather just take a loss and get rid of it and get something out of it than haggle. Yeah. You know what I mean? So... Uh, so like the, the guy who bought it, who I sold it to, I sold it to him for 300 and this thing retails for 500, right? It was kind of funny he, when he hit me up for a price, he's like, well, how much do you want for it? I said, well, retail, these things are 500. I said, but honestly, these things should be selling for 400. I'll tell you what, I'll sell it to you for 400. And then he told me, well, I'm all the way down in like Tucson, which is a, nearly a two hour drive for me. He's like, that's a two hour drive there and back and stuff um uh but i re- but he really wanted the machine 
Uh, and if I could do any less, I'll tell you what I said, because you're a subscriber, I'll sell it to you for 300. You know what I mean? So it took a $200 loss on the machine. It was lightly used. I, I probably could have sold it for like 450 to somebody else. You know what I mean? Or 500 even. But I said, you know what? 300, come get it. He was super happy. Um, told me he lived in an apartment, so he didn't have a lot of room for arcades. So like, this is only like his third machine or something like that. He's got a couple arcade one ups and now this, and it was really cool to meet him and all that kind of stuff. Um, oh, there's your shot. Now someone's got to take a shot. I said all that kinds of stuff. Um, so honestly, like I can't, if well played comes out <clears throat> with a ver let's say this Michael B and, and then we'll get off well played and talk about the next topic. If well played guys comes out and they say, you know what guys, we're revamping our product. We're going to put two screens in. We're going to have two nudge buttons. We're still going to have 1080p 60 frames per second. And our store is going live. Would you guys be interested in that product? What about you, Michael B? And what if, oh, and also Cool Toys said they're going to be changing the artwork as well. Um, what do you think about that, Michael B? Do they have a chance if they revamp and re-release? What do you think? Maybe. I mean, if there's uh, if they're coming back out with the Zachariah tables and there's a great artwork package from one of the real tables and it's something you want to see in your arcade, they've got an opportunity there. But I mean, I'm really hurt. I'm well played. Like, I don't really understand a lot of the stuff they did. Like, I mean, the original art was supposed to be Ghostbusters, which was going to tie in with the movie, but they didn't have a Ghostbuster table. And I've got a personal conspiracy theory that the only reason they showed Ghostbusters art was to get it into GameStop because GameStop know whose Ghostbuster is. Otherwise, they wouldn't have been able to sell their product through there. That's just what I'm saying. I'm sorry for being so hard on well played. I'm sure I haven't tried the product. Maybe I'd love it if I played it, but I'm pretty critical of it. Now, every YouTuber under the sun has done videos on Sharp and Michael B, and I haven't done it yet because... Like, I've gone on their website where you can pre-order because it's overseas. And, like, when you get to the end, like, click here and the purchase is final. I bail out at the last second. You know what I mean? Um, what do you think about those Sharpen pinballs? Uh, you know, they have the one where I think it comes with the B-Link Android device, which you can easily then just play all the Android versions of FX3 and Zakaria and Farsight Studios and all that. Um, no backlash, though. But they are coming out with a full size uh, later this year. Um, and I'm assuming it's going to have another, probably a B link Android device in that one as well. Um, I don't know, man. Like, like I, I, I kind of want to get one, but I don't know if I should. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, what do you think, man? What do you guys think? What, what do you guys think about the sharpen? Let us know. Uh, go ahead. Well, why would you <laughs> just to, just to have it? Like, you know, it's weird. Like we collect this stuff and then. I don't know. Uh, Mike says, are you feeling okay? No, man, we're having a chill stream. Usually um, I have like this whole P-dubs persona. You know what I mean? Like I tried to be the entertainment guy, the hype man, the MC, the Ryan Seacrest of arcades. You know what I mean? Like the guy who hosts the shows. You know what I mean? And uh, and, and today I just want to I just want to chill and hang out with my friends, you know, the viewers and, and, and you, Michael B. And all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, that's the 17th time you said it. He thought it was the first last time. <laughs> oh, my God. Really? Yeah. A lot yeah. of people are saying pass on Sharpen. I mean, it's a cool little product. It's a cool little product. Um, okay. But, let's. Uh, but, oh, but. Go ahead. I mean, ahead. We, have, we have Legends Pinball now. We have Arcade One-Off Pinball. We have so many other options. Why right. are we jumping in on Sharpen? Like, uh, other than you and you're saying the curiosity, or yeah. maybe if they come in at a you know, cheaper price point. Why would you go that route? Yeah. Stardust is waiting for his email. I really hope they finish off wave one this week and get those emails out. They did say, what did they say? They said all wave one would ship by March 9th. Was it Michael B? Um, so, yeah. so guys, if you're in wave one per at games, last announcement, I believe all of wave one should be done by this week. So keep your eyes on your emails, check your spam folders, and wave one should be done. Paul P-Dubs is the Paul Giamatti. I get Paul Giamatti a lot because I'm a little overweight. When I'm skinny, I look like Tom Green, which is hilarious. I get I, what, what, when I when I was skinny, Michael B. Everyone said, and I had long hair before my hair yeah. started falling out before the receding hairline. People said I looked like Tom Green um, when I was skinny. 
Uh, yeah. I should show you my high school photos. I look just like Tom Green. But now that I'm fat, I look like Paul Giamatti. So, you know, whatever. Whatever. Um, okay, so let's talk about... Um, oh, yeah, the, I, I gave you guys the sticker update. Also, a bunch of people sent me stickers after the sticker accountability stream. <laughs> Michael B., a bunch of people sent me emails. Like, we had people email us during the show. And if you email me during the show... We'll send you the stickers, right? Well, then I got a bunch of emails afterwards, guys. I got like 140 emails of people asking for stickers. So, guys, everyone will get their stickers. Just give me time. It takes a little bit to go through all that stuff. Um, okay, so let's talk. Uh, I want to show off some subscriber game rooms. But I also wanted to talk a little bit more about the Arcade 1-Up Pinball, which I know you're always game for. So do you want to do you want to talk a little bit more about that? <laughs> mango slice says i'm big boned and we love the p-dubs meatball saucy says i look like a big italian meatball the saucy comes from how much i can drink there you go there you go um okay so arcade went up pinball so um now that the well played is gone my son comes up to me uh because my son was home before he went to work and he saw the guy in the garage come in to buy the because i took it to the garage uh, and he tested it in the garage, and then we had to disassemble it, take the legs off and everything so he could fit it in his SUV. Um, and then my son, uh, when I walk back in the house, my son's like, did you just sell a pinball machine? I was like, yeah. He goes, did you sell Marvel? And I'm like, no, no, Marvel's still in the loft. He's like, good, don't sell it. You know what I mean? And, and Michael B., it's amazing that, you know, we've only had that thing for a few days, less than a week and my son absolutely loves the Marvel pinball machine. And the more he loves it, the more I get excited about it. You know what I mean? Because my son is not a big pinball player. He hates the toy shock. He liked the Legends pinball until he touched the arcade one up pinball. So what does that tell you, Michael B, that is P-Dubs being too hard on that product? Is the general fan going to absolutely love it? And uh, maybe when I, f I am going to film my review this week and it's really making me think how I should film this review. You know what I mean? Like, do I, how do we, how do we approach this? How do we approach this as content creators? Cause unfortunately I feel like, I feel like there's like this civil war going on right now, man. And it's like, if you say something nice about at games, the arcade one up people get pissed off. If I say something nice about arcade one up, my at games fans or viewers feel alienated. You know what I mean? How do we how do we do this, Michael B? What do you guys think? Uh, I get a suggestion, and uh, you know I'm going to be making reviews for this for myself, so I could just keep it. But I'm a good guy, and I don't want to do that. I think you consider it levels when you do your review. You talk about what's important for what people. So mm -hmm. you can do one for you know casuals. People are just going to walk up to this and say, "Here's you know here's what I think you, you'll like. Here's what I think you won't like." Talk about people that expect the V pin table out of this, which it's clearly not, and no one should expect that. It has some light elements of a you know expensive V pin table built for mainstream home experience. So you know you can do that, and then you can do your average arcade one up guy and see what they think. So just do it for keep in mind different pathways for your review. <laughs> I like uh, Kev. Uh, Kev Gretz said, "Marvel is for normies." He's uh, Marvel's for normies, and Brad said, "It's like how how do you say it? it's good for people who don't know any better?" That's not nice, Brad. Come on, yeah. MBSX pinball? No, nah, that's not going to happen. Um, uh, let me see here. Uh, Jeff says, "What is the Rexer's title?" It's the Rexer Show, one word, uh, in YouTube, and you'll be able to find it. Uh, Scott says he thinks it's a little overpriced. Well, here's what stinks about this, guys. I don't even know how to discuss this anymore in Arcade 1-Up reviews, guys, because Arcade 1-Up was not lying when they said recently that prices are going to go up due to part shortages and production issues in China. So, guys, uh, these prices, even if they we feel they should be cheaper, Arcade 1-Up might not be able to deliver them cheaper to us. Or can at games, Toy Shock, iArcade, all these companies, because prices continue to rise for them, which means the prices get passed to us as consumers. Yeah, and right? the, the sad thing is it's not on component parts. Like some of the component parts have gone up. What's really gone up and is really super expensive for these companies right now is shipping. The shipping has gone up by about 6,000 times. So mm -hmm. getting product over here to the States and getting it to Canada is nuts right now. Uh, yeah. Like, 
Yeah. It's nuts, right? It's like, I wish I could just go pick it up, right, Michael B., and save some money, right? Like, if I come to you, will my arcade be cheaper? <laughs> you know what we should do? What? Let's go Let's go six ways on a boat, and then all you guys in the chat, go support Cool Toys GoFundMe that he's setting up now to buy the Optimus Prime rig. We'll buy the boat, <laughs> we'll go pick them up, and then we'll load them into Cool Toys Optimus Prime rig. Yeah. Well, I mean... So I've been playing pinball all day. I played the Zakaria games and the at games, which we'll talk about here in a minute. And then, of course, I played the arcade one up earlier with my son. And he, I just, I just can't get over how excited he is when he plays that machine, Michael B. Like, like when I play it, it's weird. When I play it, I got this weird tunnel vision. Like I keep playing it. And I keep looking at it like, what do I want it to be? Not what it is. You know what I mean? Um, where, whereas my son plays it just to play it for what it is. Um, and he's having a blast doing it. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's really cool. And, and, and a part of it too, is the kids in our generation, they, they, they obviously, they get star Wars from us. Plus all the new star Wars movies, they get Marvel from the Marvel cinematic universe. Um, so they just, you know, they just love the franchises and seeing those characters on a pinball machine fills them with joy and they have a blast playing it, you know? Um, he doesn't see the shortcomings that I do on the product. You know what I mean? Like I told him, I said, I said, uh, the screen looks a little washed out, you know, like a lot of the feedback we've given, like, and we've heard other people say, and he'll be like, well, I don't care. You know, and he'll be like, he's just sitting there playing. He's like, I don't care. He's like, you know, it's funny. He goes, look, he, one time he looked at over to me. He said, looks fine to me. <laughs> and that goes to show you that average people, are gonna are are going to continue to love those. Now, what I do think though is, despite the fact that the average consumer is really gonna love them, I really hope Arcade One Up takes the feedback that they're getting from their community on the opportunities for improvement and on the next generation, they put those into play. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. Like, you'll never satisfy everybody, but if you can satisfy mostly everybody, that's a win, right? And I don't think mostly everybody's satisfied. Um, but a good chunk of casual fans are going to be satisfied. What do you think, man? Uh, well, I, I'll tell you right now, I've gone kind of all in on this whole pinball thing. You know, I even turned my um, opinion around and bought the Marvel table too, even though it's video game pinball. I'm excited for it, mainly because my kid comes in and watches me play Pinball FX3. She wants to sit here, watch me play Wolverine, watch me play X-Men, Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. She loves the Marvel stuff. And my wife is really excited for it too. Like I, I have to force my wife to come down and play arcade games and I can get her to play some. But she actually said, yeah, no, when you get pinball, I'll probably be down more for that. So that's exciting. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I think they're going to have a really good time. I think it's something we're going to do together. I'm looking forward to it. All right, I'm going to put a link in the live chat. Let's see if YouTube will let me. Sometimes when we share links in live chats, uh, YouTube will try and block them. So let's see if this goes through. Oh, yeah, uh, I, I remember. I'm sorry. I just wanted to jump back in again really quickly. Uh, the other thing I wanted to say, and I forgot, I got lost my train of thought, was I've been watching tons of people's video. And the biggest thing I've noticed, like I watched a video last night, Mad Dad's Gaming, uh, where he was playing it with his kids. And he even did a comparison to a mod of Toy Shock. And like, the kids just have so much fun at this thing. That's what I keep seeing, and I, I can't get past that. It looks like it's fun. You might pick it apart because of minor tweaks, but just mm -hmm. the kids are having such a good time. I, I, I can't help but love it. <laughs> Brad O'Connell, 600 bucks. Here's your games. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, and Kev Gret earlier said, hey, man, 600 bucks. Uh, he might be singing a different tune. You know what I mean? So I wanted to share. So what I did is if you're a channel member, I put a post on my community thread. If you guys don't know on every YouTube channel, uh, when you guys pull up a YouTube channel on your phone, on the internet, you see like home about community and the community thread is kind of like the YouTube channel. It's kind of like your personal Facebook thread for your YouTube channel, right? Where you can share photos and updates. And if you have channel members like I do, like you have to click the join button to become a channel member. Um, you can put posts there that only channel members can see, right? So I put a post there saying, hey, channel members, you guys are contributing a dollar a month. I would love to show off your game rooms. Um, and since you're channel members, I'll show off your rooms before other viewers um, send me some pics. Here's the email address and stuff. And I got a bunch of pics here, and I wanted to show you guys. 
because I, this is my way of saying thank you to them, as well as uh, us looking at some cool cool stuff. What's so funny, man? Go to uh, Mike. You can't say his last name. He's less. The link forwarded me to. Oh come on! <laughs> but guys, also, if you're watching live, you can join us live and show off your game room, or even just pop in to say hello. So you can go ahead and use that link. You just got to use that in a Google Chrome browser. Uh, we'll see if anyone calls in. But in the meantime, let's start looking at some stuff, guys, and let's start giving some shout outs to our fellow friends. A lot of these people, you might know their names, right? Uh, so this one right here, this is Ben Salazar. He sent me a few pictures of his game room. And take a look at this. This Zohar would love this. Yeah, Mortal Kombat 9. Look at that on the wall. Let me go full screen here. Look at that on the wall, guys. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh, my God. That's the first thing I saw when he sent me this picture. I'm supposed to be looking for the arcades, right? But look at yeah, that. That's cool. That's way cool. And then, of course, he's got his pool table. And this is Ben Salazar, everybody. This looks really cool. He's got his golden tee with the Caddyshack stickers from Arcade Graphics. Use coupon code PDUBS and you'll save 20% at <laughs> ArcadeGraphics.com. And, guys, that's no joke. You get a discount code on that. He's got his NBA Jam. Which, by the way, guys, Arcade One Up is coming out with a whole bunch of more SKUs that are going to have these lighted control deck protectors. So get ready for those, guys. Uh, you guys are going to love those. Um, let me grab the next one. So I believe this is Ben Salazar as well. This is the other side of his room. Take a look at those antlers. Oh, yeah. If you guys watch my channel, you guys know I own a lot of hats. So I would probably have all my hats hanging on this thing. <laughs> He's a Coors Light fan. Taste the Rockies. Yep. And this made me happy, guys. I'm a big time chess player. I love chess. I love chess. Hey, guys. Hollywood Polo hey is here. Hey, Polo. Oh. Thanks. I don't, I don't have an arcade room, but I wanted to show you guys my uh, PXN arcade stick. Oh, look at this. What is this yeah. now? It's a PXN arcade stick. Uh, got from Wicked Gamer. Is it for all my uh, USB arcade gaming? Oh, nice. that's, that's really it's cool. It's a PXN arcade stick. That's really, really cool. Uh, how long have you had that? Had for about uh, two months. Yeah. Is that yeah. like your favorite arcade stick? Yeah, 40 bucks. It runs very well. If you have the can't go wrong with it. 40? That's a good deal, bro. Thank you. Uh, for now, oh. I mean, there, there's better ones, but the uh, really high ones are like two, three hundred dollars, and don't think I need to spend that much to just uh, play arcade games. Let hey, me show you guys had, my pinball controller. If you have the stream on another uh, window, if you could close the stream, we're getting an echo loop. There you go. All right, let's see what let's see what Hollywood Polo has, guys. Let's see right here. This is my FX uh, three ten, so I use to play pinball on. Nice. So this is what you set the number one scores on for 20, Zachariah. 20 bucks. Wow. Wow. Oh, look at that. We got Stardust is here. Guys, everyone say hi to Stardust. We all know who Stardust is. Yes, it is. 20 bucks on Amazon. That looks really good, man. <laughs> yeah, we still, got that, we still got that echo. You got to close that extra YouTube window you have open where you're watching the show. Okay. Yeah, if you close that, that way you won't hear an echo. Oh, wait. I think he closed us. <laughs> Stardust, Not you there? You. Or are you frozen, yeah, buddy? I'm sure. You want to show us your game room? Yeah, well, uh, that, that's kind of where I'm at here. All right, um, let's do it. This is kind of my living room space, but uh, right now we've got a couple of cabs over here next to the kitchen. And the dining room table's got a TV in it. And what? that's how I've been running the the switch uh, pinball off of the 43 under the dining room table. Okay. And I... Over here next to the dining room table is the, <clears throat> the Nintendo Wii area. And <clears throat> then the projector with the PlayStation and the Xbox and all that crap. But <clears throat> if I go over here, this... Oh, Holy wow. Cow. Yeah, there you go. 
Oh, look at that row. That is like a row of greatness right there, man. Keep going. Oh, okay, okay. Is that some um, battleship I saw there? What else we got going on here? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You still got the boxes? What do you got there? Some extra? You got some extra ones there? Well, extra I just, as, I'm, as I was running around shopping, I was like, ooh, a battleship. And it's like a glow-in-the-dark version, you know? And, ooh, Jenga, glow-in-the-dark version. <laughs> ooh, Connect 4, glow-in-the-dark version. You know, and so we haven't actually opened or played with any of those yet, but, you know. I just can't pass up deals when I see them go by. Like, still got uh, the the legends went on sale after I had one, so I grabbed another one. If he does, sorry about that. Right. And then you know, back here is kind of the cramped corner. Yeah, that is a cramped corner, man. Um, yeah. Yeah. There, there's a word for this stardust. It's called organization, my friend. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the problem. I, I've got a little loft to work with here. A little yeah. loft. Yeah. Yeah. I need a bigger house. Guys, is it funny that I plan on buying a bigger house to support my hobby? Isn't that hilarious? Well, I, I certainly thought about it. Wow, man. I'm really, I'm really nice to see your face, man. Always good to put a face yeah, with the name. Yeah, likewise. Always good to put a face with the name. And uh hold on. And then man. my bedroom, you know, like this. I mean it gets ridiculous. I built this driving chair here. Okay. And put put a 42 on it and then kind of step into the Nintendo world. I mean, it gets crazy. All right. Like every, hate... every corner of my house has got video game memorabilia in it. Like, oh, know, yeah. It's, it's like crazy collector over here. That's really cool. Hey, can you go back to the chair real quick? I got you full screen now. I want to get a good shot of that chair. What chair? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the gaming chair. It's a seat from, uh, I went to the junkyard and pulled this out of, um, what the hell car is that? A Dodge Dart. <laughs> you Dodge didn't get it out of a Dodge Dart? <laughs> that's what that is. Uh, <laughs> guys, that's pretty and awesome. Then, yeah. I was getting ready to buy the Mario wheel, the pro switch wheel, so I could do oh, using, oh. For, using it for Forza. Wow. That's so. crazy. That's really cool. Hollywood's back, but hang on, Hollywood. We're going to um, we're going to share something here for everybody here. So hang on one quick second. Um, another channel member uh, named Hazo sent me <laughs> sent me this picture of his setup. Now take a look here, Michael B. You're going to like what you see here, guy. What did he do here? This is his. Oh, uh, what 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 did I do? This is his Legends Gamer Pro. And he's turned it into a vertical pinball unit with this oh, uh, yeah. giant, with his giant monitor here, and, and he told me this is like a permanent setup now nice. for him. Zohar asks, uh, "Do you have a full size Mortal Kombat? You don't need. He's always looking for one. <laughs> so that's pretty cool, right? Oh, that's pretty epic. That's amazing. Yeah, man, that's awesome. All right, let's get out of that one and let's go to." Let's go to, we got, uh, speaking of which, guys, Hollywood Polo, number one score, Combat Deluxe, number one score in the world. Congratulations. How, how long did it take you to do that? About 20 minutes, uh, P-Dubs. You kind of get in the moment of playing, and so <laughs> I just get in the zone, and you're like, you exist outside of time, and then when it's finally over, it's kind of like, you know, like rain a mile or something. You get that rush when you did it, then you come down from the high, but... It just seems like you're suspended in time when you're in the zone. Brad, Brad O'Connell says, you are the world champion and you are my friend. Look at that. Number one score, Zakaria in the world on Combat Deluxe and Devil Riders. Two games. Oh, thank you, Feed Ups. Guys, two games. He is the world champion. And you did. Did you do both of these in 20 minutes? About, yeah. I mean, I think I even did them the same day. I think I did them on different days. Oh man! Well, you just kind of want to be in a high energy mood when you try to go for a score like that. I am. I, I, I've been playing for hours, and I can't get anywhere close to you, man. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> That's awesome! Congratulations. Oh, thank, thank you. Uh, we got another one here. Now, this one I love. This one I I put on the thumbnail for the show, guys. This is um, 
This is Keon. No, is it Keon? Hang on. Let me double check. Uh, yeah, this is Keon, K-E-O-N. He watches the channel a lot. And take a look at this. That is spectacular. Michael B., what do you think of that room? That looks great, man. I think this was what it looks like. This is one of the ones that was featured on one of the arcade one up rooms one day. I, I think I've seen this before, but I mean, that looks amazing. I wish I had that much open space. Like every time I see one of these arcades, I also think that I see the beams up there and I'm like, oh, they're not restricted by walls. Yeah. Well, I can tell you what, I really like the brick. And I think here in Arizona, like I might. Obviously, we don't have like the brick brick like that, but I might put a brick wallpaper in my next house in my game room because the brick mm -hmm. just looks great, you know. Rex, yeah, show. Up here. what do you think, Stardust? Do you like that? I like the space that, like, look at all that. You can like have a party, invite everybody you know in that room right there. God, that is a good looking room. Good looking room there. Let's take that off of there. Very, very cool. So, Stardust, how long have you been collecting all this stuff? Mm, technically, before I knew how to collect. My dad was buying Atari and television. Uh, Coleco, I've got Coleco's in the box. I've got all sorts of crap. And, like, every time as a kid, I'd be like, oh, I want the Nintendo. But then, like, Super would come out. And I'd be like, oh, I got to have the Super. Let me trade it in. And he'd be like, well, what are they going to give you, 100 bucks? And I'd be like, he's like, I'll, I'll give you 100 bucks and just throw it in a box and tuck it away. And then later on, be like, oh, yeah, remember when you didn't want that console? We'll look at it and it was like bust it out again, like treasure. And so he kind of instilled that in me. So then, you know, now as an adult, I'm like, oh, my God, I got to have that. And I can't get rid of nothing. And I got to save that. And, you know, I've gotten to the point where, like, I got no room left. You know, I started piling it up the walls to squeeze in more cabinets. You know, it's crazy. That's awesome. But, <clears throat> it's awesome to be here, guys. No, you know why. Well, I'm glad you're here, I feel man. Like, I'm, like, oh, like I'm, I'm running out of breath. I got so much uh, to like. Oh. Well, it's okay. Very it's just exciting. my. I, you know, I had the same reaction the first time I met, I met Michael B. Like I really had, <laughs> it took me a long time to catch my breath. I was so nervous because he's such a big star, right? You know, uh, I mean, Michael B. is a legend amongst us mortals. Now Hollywood, <laughs> now Hollywood Polo, though, I gotta tell you, man, I see you everywhere. You're on every live stream. You're commenting on every YouTube video. All the content creators like you, Scott J, Brad O'Connell, Dylan, like we see the same guys everywhere. Zohar, Jeff Rainwater, and we just we just love you guys. I want you to know we absolutely love you guys. When I make videos, guys, like those names plus about 10 more guys, like I every time I hit publish, I always think to myself, I can't wait to see what Dylan says about this video, or I can't wait to see what Hollywood says about this video because these, you guys always comment on our videos and stuff, right? And you guys always are part of our live streams. I want you guys to know you viewers that we do appreciate you guys, right? Like we're not doing this to become celebrities or make money or stuff. We're doing this for fun and you guys make it fun. Um, so, so Hollywood, you're Hollywood. You're awesome. Stardust. You're awesome. Everyone. Live chat. Hollywood, are you running out of space too? I know I could go on all night. I'm having such a good time with you guys. I mean, I'd love to hang out with you just every week, just a live general <laughs> chat, whatever you want to talk about. There you go. Look at that. Hollywood wants us to start a new show. <laughs> we'll call it the Hollywood Arcade Show. What about that? That sounds awesome. Oh, Jeff Wainwater says the only reason why they watch us is because they're lazy and they sit at their computers all day. Here's Al. Thanks, P Dubs, for all you do. No, thank you guys for always tuning into our shows. Um, Wilson, who um, I, we all know, Wilson, right? Wilson's awesome. Uh, Wilson sent me um, his Neo Geo because I said, send me pictures of your game room or like whatever mod project you're working on. So this is his Neo Geo riser for his MVSX, and that looks pretty good. And as you can see here, look right here. Look what he's got up here. I'm jealous. Look at the metal slug, guys. Oh, wow. sick. that's pretty awesome so <laughs> but yeah this is thanks to wilson thanks for sending this over i'm trying to i don't know what this is going on here on the screen i'm hope i think that might just be a glare i hope so maybe he didn't peel the plastic off his screen i don't know <laughs> it's probably just a glare but cool riser and also the metal slug. Zohar, five bucks. I was going to send Alyssa Milano, Michael B., but he messed up on the Rexer show by not saying Captain Fantastic. So he changed his mind. 
guys, do you know, are these homemade or can you buy these? I don't know, but that looks pretty cool. I want those on my machine now. We all love MV. We all love the uh, the MVSX, of course. And then um, now there's a guy whose game room is amazing. We got nine pictures, but we'll go through them very, very quickly. You guys will love them. So, anyone here know who uh, Shotgun Sean is? Our boy Sean. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sean. Uh, our boy Sean. I see him in the uh, chat. Yep, Sean is amazing, and Sean sent me a whole bunch of pictures of his game room. So, um, let's see here. You guys are gonna love these photos. So, basically, every inch of his room is covered. And look at what he's got going on on the TV. Oh, yeah. up there. oh my god! Looks like an he episode is. of Super Game Room, dudes. He's got broadcasting up there. But this is uh, there's his toy shock. There's his I arcade. There's his Legends Ultimate and. Now, this is uh, his consoles. Now, take a look. at He's got every freaking console. Every single one. Look at that. And they're not in boxes. They're all organized fresh. Okay. <laughs> he's got his Gamer Pro. So this is his Gamer Pro setup. Yep. Guys, Sean is awesome. Is he here? I know he likes to go to bed early on Sundays. I messaged him, said, hey, I was going to show off your pictures tonight. Uh, and he said, well, I have to go to bed early. Um, this is uh, another part of this looks like his desk in his game room and look at this he's got a vertical screen for playing games he's got a couple of monitors set up here and what's cool about sharing stuff like this is um, this will also help give other viewers great ideas right like this yeah. kind of setup is giving me ideas like here's the stairway leading down to his room and as you can see he's got everything covered the ceilings everything that's awesome. a cool. That's a cool room. Like honestly, like guys, yes, I do smoke. Like I honestly want to go down there and like smoke a couple packs of cigarettes in his game room. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? And look, these are the bone toggles that uh, he got. Uh, if you guys remember the coffin cade mod, um, after the coffin cade mod, um, uh, Jake, uh, what was it? Jake, was it uh, Jay? Yeah, was it Jay or Jacob? I think it was Jacob. Jacob. Call Jacob. Yeah. Uh, so we reached out to Jacob after the show and I said, look, Sean absolutely loved those bone toggles. Can you please make him a set and send him a set? And he did. He did. So we got those out uh, to Sean. Uh, thanks so much to uh, Jacob for doing that. And obviously he put it on his Mortal Kombat uh, machine, the bone toggles. So that's pretty, pretty cool. Um, yeah, he's going to have to tell us how they play. Like, how do they feel? So we'll have to get that feedback from him. Now, uh, here's a good shot of one of his rows uh, of, of stuff. I love I love Motorhead, by the way, one of my favorites. There's his Legends Ultimate, and there's his row of arcades. He's got that open sign. That's the same one you have, Michael B., right? Uh, it looks very similar, yeah. And it looks like we got some Funko Pop figures up here. He's got a Hellraiser movie poster over there, too. That's dope. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, that right there, Hellraiser right there. And this looks like a kind of like chalk art is kind of what this looks like. Oh, look, and he also has the 8-bit character sitting on top of his machine. We'll have to check that out. All right. I I want to I literally want to go hang out in his uh arcade room. It looks so good. Now, this is the other side of his arcade and look at that. That is a real killer instinct cabinet. And, and uh off-road, right? And he's got he's got a Jason Voorhees cut out from the worst Friday the 13th movie. <laughs> <laughs> look at that but there you go guys there's killer instinct uh how many of you are getting killer instinct from arcade one up throw it in the live chat i know i'm getting one i'm pretty yeah, excited most, uh, what about you stardust are you gonna get killer instinct absolutely that was one of my favorite i've been preaching in the chats forever like please killer instinct please finally when they dropped it i was like no way oh my god it, it was ridiculous so hype. Now, now guys this picture blew me away look at this he's got six monitors running six different consoles in his game room look at this it's incredible and it's yeah cool. my my electric bill in arizona would be through the roof <laughs> you know our electric bills suck out here what do you think about this hollywood what if you had <laughs> six six monitors since you watch all of us you could watch all of us at the same time I love it. I want to retire there, Pete. I just would stay in that room 20 hours a day. I mean, it's yeah. a paradise, really. 
Yeah, like Sean, man, I, we would never ever leave your room. Now here's uh, so that's the room, but just outside that room right here, he's got his pinball. Here's a great comparison photo for you guys of how these machines line up size wise. There's your Legends pinball, Star Wars, and your Toy Shock. Toy Shock, obviously the shortest of the bunch, um, and it looks to me like, yep, he doesn't have the legs extended. I actually, I'm five foot ten, guys, and I had to extend the legs on the i'm sorry i'm 511 but i extended the legs all the way on our marvel pinball machine so mine is an extra is it two inches michael b it's about two inches it raises the I'm machine. not sure yep and because i raised that one now i'm gonna go and i have to raise the legs on the legends pinball because now the legends pinball feels a little too short a little too short um compared to the arcade one ups uh let's see here what does sean do for a living he must be rich one up looks the best. Well, let's take a look here, guys. So let's do this. And, and oh, I keep hitting the wrong button on my screen. Uh, guys, do me a favor and let's be honest. And there's nothing wrong with doing this. Let's be honest. Which pinball machine looks the best? Put a one for Legends, a two for Arcade One Up, and a three for Toy Shock. Throw it in the live chat, guys. Which one do you think looks the best? We also got Meatball Saucy about to join the stream as well, Jason. So we're going to add him here in a minute. Go ahead. You, you can put a four in there for well played. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, he doesn't have it. <laughs> he doesn't have it in the photo. But look, we got ones. We got ones. Okay, we got twos. We got ones. We got twos. Remember, one for Legends, two for Star Wars, and three for Toy Shock. Two, 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 one. Legends is one. Wow, I'm lo loving watching all this stuff come in, guys. Thanks so much for participating. Legends is one. Arcade went up because of the Chrome only. Michael B, as well as Stardust and Hollywood, do you guys feel that uh, At Game should have gone with Chrome legs, or do you guys like the powder, like the the powder, the silver powder? We got yeah, going? the powder coat's nice, but I mean, uh, my honest opinion is, is I was I when I first saw the two side by side, I was very shocked. I thought that the one up one would be much smaller in like height, but um, if just looking at this picture, you know what what. Uh, I don't find attractive is all the words like legends pinball across the top and stuff, <laughs> you know, like that just, that just don't do it for me. But like, I know that the machine's a better machine, like, you know, internally and stuff, but it's just not, not as attractive. I think, you know, Yeah, I'm worried that when I'm going to start playing my arcade one up pinballs, I'm not going to know it's pinball because it's not on there 17 times. I'm oh, very right. confused. <laughs> <laughs> What about you, Hollywood? Which one do you think is the is the most sexy? Oh, the Legends. I mean, it's so much bigger and ro most robust. It seems like a pinball machine that a grown adult would play. And as far as like the Legends pinball, I mean, you could always uh -huh. get marquees or, you know, you could cover that up with whatever artwork you want. And like uh, you guys are saying, I mean, the hardware is so much better. So, I mean, you could do Mimino modding and really make that a really deluxe machine versus the one up you'd have to spend a lot of time and money to mod that, you know, as V and Cool Toy have, have shown so far. What about you, Meatball Saucy? What do you think? Which one's the best looking? Yeah, you know, I from a stock standpoint, I really do like the arcade one up. The the chrome accents are really nice. Um it looks really good and you know, I mean, you know, I'm a Legends Ultimate fan, um, but I really do like the arcade one up and the look of it. Um, you know, it's a little bit small for my taste, but it does look good. Yep. Yep. As I've said in uh, some of my more recent videos, guys, uh, and live streams, my son and both my wife now feel that the arcade one up pinball machine is the sexiest, just from a looks perspective, of all the pinball machines we've had in our house. Um, so it, it, it's very interesting that, um, I mean, if there's one thing that Arcade One Up has always done well is make stuff look pretty. Am I wrong? They've always they always make stuff look pretty. That makes well, stuff. Look good, so, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, my, one of my back biggest back. concerns. One Go of ahead. my biggest concerns was is I've I've pre-ordered the Legends pinball and now I've I just bought Marvel and uh, unqualified critic put up the link. I went over to Walmart and snatched up a Marvel. Nice. So it'll be here on the fifteenth. Um, I got in and uh, luckily I pre-ordered. They didn't cancel my Best Buy pre-order for Attack from Mars. So none of my cabinet, my pinball cabs have got here yet, but um, I'm mentally trying to compare it to the dining room table 
and the switch. And I'm wondering if I'm going to be disappointed with both because I'm, right now I'm running Attack from Mars on like a 43 inch, you know, with a pro controller. Right. And so, like, this is nice. It looks good. It, it's sharp. It's fast. It's responsive. You know, so, like, I'm wondering, like, once these get here, I'm going to be comparing it to, to this, you know? So, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of, like, on the fence about it. I don't know if I've, like, got, dug myself a big hole that I'm going to be, like, trying to take these back or what or, you know, but we'll see, I guess, when they get here. Hey, Meatball Saucy, I got a project for you. Jason would like you to put some chrome all over your Legends pinball machine. What about doing that, Jason? <laughs> what about you doing that, Jason? You've done all, so many. Yeah. All, all around the uh, four screens I've got uh, highlighted on the machine, right? It, by the way, is that machine next to you? Do you want to show people what you did to it? Sure, I'd be happy to. Yeah, well, let's let's do it. Let's sure. do it. <laughs> Yeah, let's do it, buddy. Let's, let's see how well I can switch around to the back camera so I can see. There we All go. Right. Look at this, guys. He's got four screens. You need about two or three more screens, Jason. Yeah, yes. right. Jason, that's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> guys, yeah, so give, give a shout out to Meatball Saucy in the live chat. He's got four screens on his Legends. And you had to add the Legends pinball logo on top. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you know, so so the topper comes right, and a lot of these uh, default V V pin uh, programs don't put a lot of uh, stuff up there, right? And so, rather than have it sitting blank, I did put the the lead or the uh, Legends Pinball logo back up on the top. I know it's a point of contention for a lot of people, but you know, rather than have it sitting blank, I, I populated it. <laughs> that looks cool. awesome. Michael. B, what do you what do you think, buddy? I, that looks so cool. Uh, I don't even know what to say. Like, <laughs> you, you're a lot smarter than me. I, I'd just put a couple stickers on it. And that'd be about <laughs> what my capability would bring me. Stardust, are you going to do this to a Legends pinball machine? Uh, I don't know. I was I was thinking of doing the whole uh, the monitor thing that Cool Toy threw up. You know, for the one up. I'm thinking maybe I'd do one of those. Um, pursue that. I've got an Alienware computer here that might pull off the multiple uh, screens, but I'm not real sure about how to. I haven't even attempted to set up the VPX and all that, so I don't know. Yeah, uh, it's just well, there's there's so many directions to head. It's hard to stay focused in one. You know. Well, if you but, need oh, ROM, man. if you need ROMs, that is. If you need ROMs, just go to Michael B the Game Genie. <laughs> and then I'll direct you to cool toy. Oh, <laughs> uh, look at that. I love I love that he utilized the space in the cabinet so that it's not wasted, you know, like put a door on it. That's so cool. Yeah, yeah. the best part is is that uh so when I set up my OTG um, uh -huh. right there that I don't have anything plugged in either on the arcade or the pinball machine, you'll notice that it's running OTG but nothing plugged in, guys. What? There's no, no cables. There's no cables. How'd you do that? What is the secret? Um, believe it or not, you, you, it's pretty simple. Um, you do have to tear the machine apart quite a bit. Um, but from a soldering and um, technical standpoint, it's it's pretty simple. I mean, it, it does require a little bit of a, of the of ability to handle a screwdriver and, and understand what you're looking at from a cable and circuit board standpoint. But like I said, no soldering, nothing else. It just, you move it to the back of the machine. Meatball. Can I ask you a personal question? Sure, man. Are, are those real guns on the wall? No, okay. no. <laughs> I was going to say, I, I don't want to challenge you to a couple of games. In case <laughs> things get a these, these are, uh, these are the, the um, Wiimote guns that I use for, oh. uh, light gun games on on the alu nice you'll see I, i've actually got a dolphin bar hooked up so i i just turn it on and turn on that pc i showed you inside the cabinet and um they connect right up and there's the little uh light bar i use it's wireless and nice. you know nothing connected here i just turn it on and go we That's had a really couple cool. we had a couple questions in the chat meatball uh folks asking about that cover you have on your trackball you want to talk about that little cover you got on there Let's talk about the cover. And um, yeah, this is a, a fantastic cover. Um, got this, uh, geez, I forget the name of the company. Um, Gunther Vincent's company. 
Um, oh, you play arcade. Thank you. You play arcade. Yeah. Um, great, uh, great company. Um, I've got uh, the shims installed actually underneath inside, um, inside the trackball. And I've got a, an extra pair of shims uh, ready to go in the trackball that I'll be using on the control panel for the ALP when it gets here. Um, but they've got a great line of uh, 3d printed products and uh, yeah, it's, it's a great company and I urge you guys to order. There you go. There you go. Thanks so much for sure. And man, that pinball is dope. Holy cow. Does that, does that look cool or what, man? So Hollywood, Paul, do you have a legends pinball or one on order or what's, your, um, what's I, I'm actually in the process of moving PDFs. So I'm hoping to move up to Illinois in the next month or so. Uh, my folks nice. are selling their house down here in New Mexico. So hopefully by this fall, they'll purchase the house and we'll move there and have a bigger room. So I, that'd be the time to get the pinball machine, I think. But I really want the deluxe version that they'll announce at some point. So I'll probably just wait for that. Wait, wait, wait. You're in New Mexico? Yeah, I'm in uh, San Miguel, New Mexico. Oh, crap, man. I'm next door in Arizona. We should, we, you should drive on over. Or I'll drive on over, man. We'll yeah, that, that, that'd be so awesome. I've been talking with Rex here after this uh, COVID stuff is over. Uh, Jamie Aachen and myself and my brother, uh, Rex manages ho that hotel over there. We could get some rooms there and yeah. <laughs> go out for the weekend, you know, go to the Pinball Hall of Fame and some of the oh, bars. Yeah. I mean, that's the plan. I got a great idea. You pick me up because I need a DDD. Because I'm on the way to Vegas. You're going to drive through here anyway. So just pick me up. Then we'll hit to Vegas. And uh, we'll have Rexer pay for our hotel rooms and pretty much pay for our entire trip, right? Re Rexer's going to, he, he can afford it with all the super chats he's gotten on his live streams. Oh, that sounds great. <laughs> very, very awesome. Now, let's, uh, I did promise folks, I wanted to talk about the Super Console X. Uh, you guys, you guys are more than welcome to hang around while we chat about it. Um, it's totally up I'm gonna to jump off P dubs. Hey, it was great uh, meeting you face to face. And uh, great seeing you, everyone else. Good to see you guys. All right, Cheers. See, you, see you later, Meatball. What about you, Stardust and Hollywood? You guys gonna hang around for the console X talk? I'm with you all sure. night long, P dubs. <laughs> Whatever you want to do, I'm a late, I'm a late night owl. All right, so guys in the live chat, do you, have you guys heard? Do you guys know about the super console X device? Have you guys seen this thing? What about you, Michael B? Yeah, that looks great. What what looks great? The super yeah, console. You awesome. Don't, you don't think it looks great at all? <laughs> what about you, Hollywood? Have you guys heard about it? I think it's a little underpowered. A Wicked did a review on it, and uh -huh. they don't seem to be able to come out with a device. I mean, I want something that can play up to like a Nintendo 3DS games, but all these companies just use the same hardware, so it gets to Dreamcast and then the emulation kind of craps out. The hardware is not good enough to run that stuff natively. Yeah, so I picked one. What about you, Stardust? Are you familiar with this product? No, not at all. All right, so this is kind of a, a hot item right now. Um, I saw ETA Prime's review on it, and ETA Prime gave it a positive review. So I went ahead and I pulled the order. A hundred bucks, and I got it. Uh, I ordered it, geez, like a month ago, and it just showed up uh, this week or the over like Thursday it showed up, I think, Thursday or Friday. Um and basically this thing is, you know, it's 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 one of these little consoles from China that are preloaded with, you know, 40, 30, 40,000 games ready to play. And it's running emulation station. So it works pretty much just like a Raspberry Pi. Like once you plug a controller in, it says controller detected, map your buttons and boom, you can go ahead. And, you can go ahead and play this thing. Right. So I picked it up. And the only reason why I wanted this thing was for one reason only. I was like. This could be interesting for the at games ecosystem, right? Because they have the OTG mode. And if you could just plug this in and have access to play a whole bunch of arcade games, um, what would that be like? Like, would that be because here's the thing with at games, um, a lot of people like to bring their own games and add their own games, right? But there's usually a process, right? Like they have to go create UCE files or they have to find a coin ops build or something like that. And even if they wanted to OTG Raspberry Pi, they have to do create an image or download an image. What's up, Michael B? Well, there's always the other option. You just email cool toy. So or you just email cool toy for the rock, <laughs> right? Right. So I bought it for one reason only. I'm like, I bet this thing works OTG with the at games ecosystem right so after eta primes video came out i placed my order and then sure enough wicked gamer beat me to it right he already made a video about it stole my thunder stole my idea 
you know, I mean, he didn't steal it from me. It's just he beat me to it. But guys, this thing totally works via OTG on the At Games ecosystem, and it's a pretty stable connection. I was playing it a bit over this weekend, and it never dropped on me or anything. And when it comes to this stuff, so for instance, let me pull up a, um, let me grab something here for you guys. I'm going to switch my camera. That way you guys can kind of see this thing. All right, so here we go. Can you guys still hear me? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So for instance, you know, it's, it's just like a Raspberry Pi setup. And when it comes to playing this on, why would you want to play this on the At Games system, right? Well, for instance, guys, this thing has well over, you know, about 2,000 main games, right, when you hop in here. And sure enough, all the games are there. Everything's loaded. Everything's ready to go for you. And... um all of the arcade games obviously work really, really well on the At Games with the At Games controls. This will work via OTG on your 1.0 or your 1.1 cabinet. As you guys know, I'm a big, uh, what is it called? I'm a big um, arcade fan, right? Like I like arcade games more than console games. So just being able to play 2000 main games plug and play on the system, pretty exciting to me, right? And then, of yeah, course. And then, of course, your basic consoles, your Sega games, your Nintendo games, your Game Boy games, they're all on here. They have the entire library of everything, and all the controls will work with the Legends. Now, this thing came out, and sure enough, they're like, oh, yeah, it runs Dreamcast. Oh, yeah, it runs, oh, yeah, it runs uh, what was the other one, like PlayStation, Nintendo 64. Well, I've been trying some of the games, and um, not not so good. And, and it's not the Act games, it's this particular console you know what i mean it's just it's another one of these things coming out of uh the, the china market where they're making like they're just throwing these things together and sticking them out there you know what i mean but there's a ton of stuff on here there's like forty thousand games let me know in the guys in the live chat if you could do this versus you know put doing uce files and flash drives and all that kind of stuff would you guys do it i mean they have like every game on here and they work you know what I mean? And it's a hundred bucks. Yeah, I, I remember when I'm sorry, Michael B. Oh um, no, you go ahead. Real quick, uh um, I remember back when uh P dubs was making videos explaining how to um actually make the UCE folder and drag it in, and then you had to build the package and all this. And I must have watched the video a half dozen times and paused it and went through and tried to make it work and then i was and, and then every, when i did try and get it, it it moved it to the legends machine the folders wouldn't have any image art and because you had to add that too and it was i ended up just breaking down and i found somebody on ebay that sold a 32 gigabyte coin op stick for like 45 bucks with free shipping and i just bought it already assembled dropped it in there and bam i was up and running until they did some kind of up where update that now um, I've lost the the front end of it, and now it's just I have to go in and, and it's you look for this little slash under not coin ops folder isn't working anymore. You have to go under uh, like uh, I forget what the tab is. Add on it. But then uh, you don't have that cool interface anymore where you can page through and see the games playing when you highlight them. You know, you just get the cover art. Yeah, but. Uh, so, yeah, I've been kind of struggling. This looks um, amazing, especially of all the main games that come included on it run, you know. Yeah, yeah. so the way I look at it is, like, you know, 100 bucks, and all you do is you take the HDMI, plug it into the HDMI port, you take a USB mail-to-mail -mail cable, and you plug that in from the console to the system, you turn on OTG mode, flip to the HDMI that has the console X on it, map your controller and you're done right and then you have access to doing all this kind of stuff that's awesome um it's it literally took less than two minutes to plug it in and get it working on the legends ultimate and you know it's a great way to play maybe a couple thousand arcade games but of course this stuff's not free right um i when all the playstation nintendo 64 that kind of games they say this thing can run them but a few that I tested, you know, it wasn't really working so good. But it's like, you know, it's like it's just one more way to play games, right? One more way to play games. What do you think about all this, Hollywood? It's just not powerful enough. I mean, Wicked does a lot of the Raspberry Pi mm -hmm. reviews, and 
I, I kind of would like that better. Uh, I, I want a better constr uh, arcade stick like the one I showed you guys, a uh, two-player one with all the buttons, with the trackball, with all the buttons you need. But I also want the hardware to be good enough so I can just – I'd love to be able to plug into my TV and just play some Dreamcast or 3DS, something like that, fall asleep where I don't have to do a lot of configuration. I just want a plug-and-play system like that. Yep, Meatball says no doubt, plug and play. I mean, everything's already set up for you. I mean, that's what you're paying for. Um, but but it doesn't do everything that it says it does. Like, you'll get better performance out of a Pi 4. So, for instance, as you guys know, if you follow my channel, I have my Raspberry Pi 4. You can hook that up with OTG to the Legends Ultimate, and it plays Dreamcast really well and the PlayStation 1 games really well. And uh, if you have the Wolf and Nose 256 gigabyte image, that's the one I highly recommend, although it's technically a little bit older of an image now. But I still, that's the only Pi 4 image I play. I just love that image. It has everything on it I could ever want. But, you know, you have to go through the process of finding it, downloading it, flashing it. You know what I mean? Like there's the process, right? And people are always looking for plug and play solutions. So this is a plug and play solution, but it's going to cost you a hundred bucks and you have to wait a month for it to show up from China. And at least you'll be able to get the consoles and the arcade games up and running and they'll play pretty well on here. But all that other stuff like uh, Dreamcast and all that other stuff, that stuff's not going to run on here really well. So, so uh, go ahead. I saw a folder there for Naomi. I'm guessing they're the Sega arcade Naomi games. How does that work? Mm, I didn't get, I didn't try those yet. I tried MAME, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega. What you have to do, I know some of the games that have analog versus the stick controls. You have to go in and like remap the controls. You just hit start and you hit control options, controller settings and change around the, those. But predominantly, what do I always play? I play arcade games, right? Like, does it play arcade games? Okay, sweet. I'm in, you know? Yeah, but, but does it play the Sega Naomi arcade games? I, I don't know. I have to go look. Probably so, not very well. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we'll have to see. I could probably fire one up right now if you want. Cool. It's totally, yes. up, totally up to you. Yes. Yeah, let's, let's yes. yeah, definitely. That. All right, yes. hold on. Let me, let me, let me. I have to accommodate our celebrity, Michael B. Hang on one second. Michael B. knows I love him. Thank you, P. Dubs. All right, let's see if we can. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Now I'm not capturing any auto, uh, auto, auto audio, so we'll have to check this out. Look at Zohar, <laughs> five bucks. Can you please test one thousand Mame games out for five bucks? Yeah, you know what I mean. So. They have a few different packages for this Super Console X um, off of Amazon, guys. You can go check it out. All right, so where where did you see a Michael B? Let's see. Keep going. Keep yeah. going. All right, shout it out when you see it. Where are we at? Where are we Keep at? Going. Keep going. It wasn't by the Sega? Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, look, it's even got some of the port games on here. Keep Interesting. Going. Turbo Keep graphics. Going. Keep going. Nintendo, Keep. Neo Geo. Oh. Naomi. Keep going. <laughs> Not this one? <laughs> no, that's the one. Oh, that's the one? Okay, hang on, man. Get me all. All right, let me go full We're screen pretty friend, here. Man. Let's go full screen here. All right, so what do you want to see? You want to see if this thing can run? We got only a few games on here. Capcom versus SNK. Let's see. Let's check this out. Yeah, I don't know what this is all about here. Let's go ahead and get rid of that guy. We have no time for trolls here, guys. No time for trolls. I, I didn't see it. No, nah, it's okay. I took care of it. All right, let's keep going here, guys. So we have loading game now. Oh, I should have done Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Everyone likes that game more. Come oh, on. you you can't play this. It's only for use in Southeast Asia. <laughs> <laughs> You're hilarious. You're hilarious, but uh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, well, it's it seemed whoa 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 that whoa 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 what's going on there? Holy cow! Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, okay. Wow, wow. What was what was that all about? <laughs> all right. <laughs> 
I have no idea what's going on here. There it's we go. always best when you don't know what's happening. Hold on. All right. Well, we're we're just checking it out. I honestly don't think I've played this game. <laughs> Hold on. Eat my fireball. <laughs> I don't know, man. It feels a little slow to me. What do you looks think? Looks good. Looks good. I yeah, mean, it does look good. I mean, I hit her with my butt. I mean, hit him with my butt. I mean, that's all that counts. Eat it, eat it. Yeah, I think there's some more challenging Naomi games out there than these. And you, of course, even though it comes with a bunch of stuff, you can add a bunch of you can add more, you know, yeah. stuff to it. You know, it's just like adding games to a pie kind of thing. Mm. I don't know. It seems to be working. Yeah, it looks good. I got a question for you. Have you ever tried hooking up the arcade one up plug and play console to your Legends Gamer <laughs> for on the go? My mic, uh, is my mic back? Can you hear me? A little hollow. Oh, it's doing it again. Uh, hang on. <laughs> Michael B, take over the show, man. Hang on one second. P Dubs is having technical difficulties. Yeah. Uh, I was going to mention that uh, earlier when we were talking about Mortal Kombat, uh, or not Mortal Kombat, I'm sorry, Killer Instinct. One of the reasons uh, that was going to be, if, if 1UP didn't release that, I was going to turn my Street Fighter into that cabinet. And, but. Every time I looked up, you know, Raspberry Pi emulation to Killer Instinct, it was like struggling. You know, I think uh, yeah. Mad Mad Dad Gaming, I think he got it uh, running on a Pi 4 or something. It was smooth enough that he said he didn't notice it or something. But yeah. um, every time I go in the direction of like, oh, I'm going to mod this, you know, I got the cocktail table. I seen I was going to do the cocktail mod and I thought, well, no, I'll save it for you know, so a cab that's less interesting, like Space Invaders or something, you know. And and then so I, I just, I haven't chose a path yet. You know, I kind of been waiting to see how the cards fall. I was going to get the II Arcade uh, Dragon's Lair. I was super hyped when that dropped. And then but right before I jumped in on it, I thought, well, what if Arcade 1-Up does a more authentic version of it? Then I'll be mad that I didn't get the original artwork for II Arcade, you know. So I kind of was on the fence and I... I waited too long and procrastinated, and now the price is outrageous. So I'm kind of like, well, you know, holding off. Plus, I, as you see, I don't really need it, nor have space for it. So, but you know, that's my dilemma. But the, the Killer Instinct is one of the ones that I was most excited for because of the bad emulation on everything. You know? Yeah. How's my, how's my mic, guys? In my and uh, I was Very hoping good. it's going to run. Mike is good. so. I guess. Mm, uh, What's going on? Yeah, you're real distant sounding. Volume's way low. Volume's a little yeah. low. What is going on here? Hang on. Uh, well, hello? when you stream nine times in the same day, P Dub, sometimes this stuff happens. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. You're now? back. What about now? All right, here we go. Wanted to really test the product. Run Mortal Kombat for one hour from Zohar. That's pretty funny. You guys can hear me now, right? Oh yeah, yep. nice All and right. clear. All right, sorry, we're just having all kinds of issues today. Um, but yeah, guys, so uh, it could be a good solution for those who are looking for a plug-and-play solution for their at games ecosystem to play more games, right? So that's kind of why I wanted to talk about it. Um, you know, it's kind of like pl it's plug-and-play. You know, we all yeah. like plug-and-play, right? So is it going to be the greatest thing ever? Is it the greatest solution? No, because you know what? I really like CoinOps X, too, right? Like in all those other ways to play more games. Um, let's see here. How's the Naomi sound? Um, I had it muted, so I didn't have an echo in my headset, so I, I, I couldn't hear it. I wouldn't be surprised if it was choppy. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I think honestly, of all the things you showed uh, in terms of putting this as OTG for the Legends Ultimate, Naomi is something that would really interest people. If that's a good opp opportunity for running Naomi on your Legends Ultimate, people will jump on that. Yeah. 
Uh, does the Gamer Pro have OTG? No, because um, there's no HDMI in. There's just HDMI out, right? So, no, we're talking just for the arcade machines, for the uh, Legends Ultimate 1.0, 1.1, yeah. maybe even the pinball machine, because the pinball machine, you're going to have a control deck, right? And you have HDMI in on the control for that, for playing more games. So, uh, let's see here. What else we got? Did we get through everything? We may have gotten through everything, guys. That was really cool. Any, oh, have you heard any word on the Bit Blaster or anything? Uh, so uh, at Games said that if that thing does come out, it's not going to be until late in the year. You know what I mean? That 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 project has got some big delays on it, unfortunately. Um, also, oh wait, we didn't get a chance to talk about this. The Zakaria games. Michael B, did you get a chance to play them yet? Not yet. Not yet. I had a pretty busy day. I uh, still haven't got them downloaded, too. I don't have my Legends pinball table either, so I'm going to be putting them on my Legends core and playing through my Gamer Pro right now. Yeah. Yeah. What about you, uh, Hollywood Polo and Stardust? Did you see the Zakaria live stream I did earlier today? And what, what did you guys think of how those games looked running on the Legends pinball machine? And guys, let me know in the chat if you guys watched that stream, what you guys think of what you saw. I know I saw part of it and it looked really good, P Dubs, but I was kind of chained with the Rexer before he was helping me get set up, so I just caught pieces of it. But mm -hmm. it looks really good on the machine. Yeah. Yeah, I was I wasn't able to catch it, but I've been kinda of waiting for my machine to get here before I dive into that because I was uh one of the people that pre ordered the on uh, National Owners Day, I I put down for the hundred tables or whatever, the big pack. Mm-hmm. So I was kind of waiting for my machine to claim that that you know I don't know even know if it's out yet, but um, yeah, that's what I was waiting. Not for. yet, not yet. Bobby Broadway caught the stream. He said that it looked great. Al, uh, who did the logo, I believe, uh, said that that looks good. Let's see here. Um, the best part is the back glass. Yes, uh, having the back glass and. Um, and stuff is for those who aren't looking to mod the machine, but want to have like the full features. What I did like is that all the features of the cabinet were working all via USB. Michael B. Can you believe that the games are on a USB? You plug that in your flash drive X and your nudge works, your tilt works, your accelerometers, your haptic tactile feedback, the back glass display, everything works and it all runs 1080p 60 frames per second. It's so crazy. Is that is that how we're going to get the games when uh, they they release them to us? We're going to have to go and download them, install yes. them on a USB, and then bring them into the machine that way? Yep, but you do it all on the pinball machine itself. So it's all done via Flash Drive X. So you have your Flash Drive X, Flash Drive plugged in. Um, At Games will send you an email saying, here's the code you need to enter. You'll go to your um, App Store X. Uh, and then the pinball see. machine downloads it? Yep. And what'll happen no is kidding. yeah, so what'll happen then is you go to your App Store X and you find the the pinball pack, whether you bought a single pack or the bundle that's got all four. You click on it, it says enter your code, whatever code they emailed you. You enter the code on the pinball machine itself. You do it all from the pinball machine. You don't have to go to your PC at all. Um, and it'll awesome. down it'll download the game pack to your flash drive X. And then after it downloads, uh, they recommend you turn your machine on and off. That way everything goes through correctly after the download. And then, boom, you now have all those games available to play, provided your flash drive is still plugged in. It's actually a pretty easy thing, pretty easy experience. What's, what's with the face, Michael B? So, uh, anyways, I'll come back to what I'm excited about later. I can't tell you right now because we're talking about something else. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You'll, you'll let me know later what you saw. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now. This is important to note, and this is one thing that I'm a little disappointed in at games in, is the fact that I was under the impression that everybody was getting their Zakaria games this week. I find out from at games over the weekend that everyone who bought the game packs, so if you bought the game packs, if you paid for the packs, you're going to get your pinball games this week. But a lot of us didn't buy the packs because if you're an Arcade Net subscriber, you're supposed to get the games as part of your subscription. So the game packs are coming out this week for those who purchase them. But if you have an arcade net subscription, those are going to be released later. I don't know if it's going to be a week delay, a two week delay as they get that finalized for, because you guys have to understand there's a difference between them sending a game pack to you to download and also having the game pack available to you 
tied to your arcade net account that way when you log in the games are there when you log in does that make sense michael b there's different programming involved and all that i was hoping it would be live for everybody guys but just a heads up there if you have an arcade net subscription you're not getting the packs this week just the people who paid for them but you will be getting them very soon hopefully within a week or two i'm assuming um i'm personally disappointed because i would assume just do it all at once but uh, at games is at least going to get them out there for the people, the other people. What do you think about that delay, Michael B? Hollywood Stardust, are you guys gonna are you guys gonna raise pitchforks in the fan groups this week? Not me. I've been practicing patience here for the last few months. <laughs> I don't stop here with the seam pinball. P Dubs, I wanted to thank you and Michael B that for joining the UAG's uh, FX3 tournament. It was so fun seeing you guys and D Love, and we're all playing pinball together. I mean. I'm not number one in this, so Wovenos is killing us, but it's so fun to all be playing together. Yeah, I'm yeah. really impressed with Brad. Brad, like when I beat Brad yesterday, I jumped into number four on the rankings. I was like, oh man, he's never coming back from that. And Brad is, I didn't think anybody would catch Wolfenos, but Brad's got a chance. I mean, that 3.8 billion score, that's, that's nothing to sneeze at there, man. That's a big score. And you too, Polo, you've got an over. Yours is uh, over three as well, 3.1, your score? I've been kind of stuck. The ball co goes so fast now. I've tried different views, yeah. and I haven't found a way to uh, combat that. Do you guys have any suggestions for me? <laughs> I don't know. Attack from Mars is a well, cheap cheap game, man. It, it, like, sometimes there's an well, element of luck. Well, Hollywood, if Rostalgia was here, he would just tell you to get good. He would just tell yep. you to get good. Um, that would get but, good. <laughs> But yeah, what we're talking about, guys, for those who are like, what are these guys talking about? Your average gamer who has a YouTube channel, make sure you guys go check him out. Uh, he started a when you if you have Pinball FX3 on, uh, you know, like on Steam and PC and all that kind of stuff, you can go in and create tournaments and just invite your friends to play. So he created an Attack from Mars tournament and invited about the community to play with him. A lot of folks like Hollywood kept asking me, are you going to play? Are you going to play? Are you going to play? I finally had a chance to play. I played Attack for Mars seven times. And what, what's cool about these kind of tournaments is it'll just take your highest score. So I played it seven times in a row. I got a little over a billion points. And I was like, okay, I'm good. And then I stopped. But when I quit and exited and then looked at the leaderboard, I'm in 11th place. I got a billion points. And I'm still in 11th place? Oh, yeah. I was like, That's nothing. I was like I was like, forget it. I'm not playing anymore. I'm done. You know, uh, so I, yeah. I got a, I got a story for you. Detroit Love, who also joined the tournament, he's there under Palm Loyal. Uh, yeah. Anyways, he he only played until he beat my score, and then he was like, I'm gonna go to bed now. Put on his little jammies <laughs> that we don't know what kind they are. I'm gonna I go to they're bed. Flannel, they're flannel <laughs> jammies. <laughs> Anyway, guys, uh, this has been a really fun I Hate Mondays chill and chat. So final thoughts, Zakaria Pinball and Legends. I think you guys are really going to like the game packs. They perform really, really well on that system. When it comes to the well-played machine, I'm out. No offense to those who like well-played. When it comes to Arcade 1-Up Pinball, this is going to be one of the hardest reviews I've ever filmed. Um, I might actually write a script like Michael B does just so I can keep it all together because I never write scripts for my reviews. You do. Um, when it comes to the stickers, the stickers will be mailed this week. When it comes to the Super Console X, it might be a good plug and play solution for those who don't really want to fiddle with technology so much, provided you're only looking to play the 8-bit, 16-bit console games, as well as some main arcade games on your at games devices. If you're looking for that Dreamcast, PlayStation stuff, this that product's probably not for you. Best to get your own gaming PC and use Legends Link and all that kind of stuff. But minus that, guys, I think we had a very, very fun show, and it was really cool to talk to the community and have the community show up. Stardust, thank you. Meatball Saucy, thank you. Hollywood Polo, thank you. Thank Michael, you thank you. Michael B, thank you. Um, and make sure you guys subscribe to Michael B's channel. I have to start paying him to show up on the Super Game Room, dudes. He's become such a big celebrity <laughs> around here. So do me a favor, guys. Give us a thumbs up on the way out. Hope you guys enjoy your Monday, even though P-Dubs hates Mondays. We'll talk to you real soon.